How's it going, everybody? This has got to transform them all. Today I have the Mega Latios collection box to open for you guys. That figure is wobbling a lot in there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've put this off so much just because this thing really didn't interest me too much. Not that I hate Latios, Mega Latios, whatever, just the product itself just didn't appeal to me. Uh, comes with four packs, two Roaring Skies, Primal Clash, and Phantom Forces. A Mega Latios figure, which honestly is my favorite thing of the whole box. And the Latios promo, which I honestly thought was just a special foil version of the card that came in the Latios Latios trainer kit. And currently I'm still not too sure I'm wrong on that. Uh, but I will as soon as I get that out of there. Uh, but yeah, not, not too exciting for me here. Nothing I'm ecstatic about just to keep saying the same thing over and over <laughs> but uh yeah because basically i'm like i'm done with primal clash i'm done with roaring skies phantom forces i'm actually still okay with uh like how i determine favorite sets is how much of a lasting power they have right now phantom forces beats out these other two uh at least in terms of lasting power and that's saying something considering that's the older set uh, but yeah, I was going to go ahead and get this open. Hopefully that Latios is some sort of promo and not an alternate version of the trainer kit card. Because, uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not interested in the trainer kits at all. Because pretty much between all the different, like, repackaged stuff, you're bound to get them all anyway. Like, I have a near-complete Excadrill Zoroark trainer kit because it is in every single, like, repackaged product. <laughs> go okay let's see get the card out okay so it is a promo at least so very nice it is a x and y 65 very nice little promo card i do like the card art but again it just looked so much like the trainer kit latios that i honestly thought it was just a re, a re hollowed like version of that uh, I'm very happy it's a promo, though, because, yeah, it's a promo. We have our packs and the code card, which I assume gets you the promo on the online card game. Uh, we will go newest to oldest, so starting with Roaring Skies. But first, let's have a look at the little figure, which honestly, like, again, is, like, my favorite thing of the box. Like, that is just an amazing-looking uh, little figure. Yeah, that is just really awesome, just the way it's bursting through the sky, and just, like, the way they did the special, like, cloud effects on it, it's just, ah, oh, so nice. So, there we go, we'll set you up like that. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start with our Roaring Skies, Mega Gallade on the first pack. Oh, Mega Gallade's actually on both packs. <laughs> Alright. So we will start with the first Mega Gallade pack, and codes are the right way, thank you. Uh, there's a code card for you guys, though, we're going to flip it around and give it to you. Make sure to pause and grab it if you want it. Hopefully you get something nice in your pack. And here we have an Electric, Tail Out, Execute, Fletchling, Togepi, Steven, oops, skipped over a Dragonair, and an Electrode. Reverse Hollow is Wingle. That is a common reverse. Definitely have got that one uh, several times. Uh, the rare card is Bennett. So a non hollow rare to start things off. That's okay though. Still got three more packs to hopefully get something nice. Alright, on to Mega Gallade pack number two. Ooh, we actually have something here. I saw some sparkle. <laughs> That makes me very happy. Uh, we have a Natu. Hopefully it's something I still need. Uh, Spiro. Dunsparce. Wormple. Talo. Switch. Shellgon. Healing Scarf. And, oh, that was the last uncommon, right? Switch was an uncommon. <laughs> uh, the reverse hollow is Executor. That is a uncommon reverse. I... I think I have this one, but I actually am going to have to check this. Because I'm not 100% sure. Okay, yeah, I do have this one already. It is a duplicate. The first uh, reverse haul I'm missing on the list is Silcoon, which is number four. And Executor is just number two. And the rare card, it was something 
shiny, so some sort of ultra rare. Again, hopefully something I need. It is... Ooh, the Mega Rayquaza EX. Definitely, definitely have not pulled this. Let me see. I know I'm missing a bunch of cards, like, around this. Yeah, I actually have neither... Uh, I have neither normal Rayquaza, and then I'm missing this one. So that is a fantastic pull right there. That Like, this made the box alone. If, if there's nothing in the other packs, that's fine. But very, very thankful to get a new Ultra Rare. That makes me very happy. All right, on to a Primal Clash pack. It'd be nice to get another Ultra Rare or a Hollow I'm still missing. I don't think I'm missing a Hollow for... Uh, Primal Clash. You know what? I'm going to give you guys the Primal Clash code because I've got a bunch of this one. So here's a Primal Clash online code card for you guys. Uh, pause it and grab it if you want it. Hopefully you get something nice in your pack. Before, I'm just going to check something here. Yeah, I'm missing Manaphy. So hopefully if we get a Hollow, it is a Manaphy. So we have a Tentacool, Torchic, Hippopotas, Surskit, Barboach, Beaverell, Scorched Earth, Electrike Ancient Trait, and the Reverse Hollow, Agron Spirit Link. That is an uncommon trainer. I have all the trainers in reverse, so that is definitely a duplicate. Uh, the rare card, Breloom. So just a non hollow rare. Uh, sadly, not Manaphy. All right, on to the Phantom Forces pack, uh, which was the most exciting pack, in my opinion, just because it it's the set I still like the most out of these four. <laughs> or out of the three, I guess, because there was two Roaring Skies. There we go. Open it, opening it up backwards, so no chance of spoiling something. All right, so we have a Poochiena. Swirlix, one of my favorite, like that, and Slurpelf are like my favorite Pokemon out of that, out of that generation. <laughs> Just so goofy and awesome looking. Uh, Wismer, Alomomoa, Totodile, Fletchinder, Roller Skates, and a Dimension Valley. The reverse hollow is Galvantula. That is a rare reverse. Nice, not bad at all. At least two rares in the pack then. Uh, 27. Let me see, where's Phantom Forces? Here we go, 27. I have this one already. It is a duplicate, unfortunately. Uh, but again, like I said, because of that one Ultra Rare, I am perfectly fine with whatever's in these other packs. Uh, the Rare card is... Ooh, nice for Alligator Hollow. And again, uh, well, I said Slurpuff was one of my favorite Pokemon out of that generation, but Slurpuff and for Alligator here are my two favorite Hollows out of this set. So nice, we were able to end on an awesome Hollow. And overall, I'm very happy with this box. Uh, I guess happy I didn't just grab it on the first time I saw it, because uh, I'm happy I got this specific box, because we got a Mega Rayquaza EX out of it, which is an absolutely awesome pull, no doubt, because one, it's a new Ultra Rare, and two, it is just like this and Shaman EX, or no, this and Skyfield, I think it is. Uh, awesome combo. So very, very nice to get that new Ultra Rare. And, of course, we have the new promo for the collection, the Latios, which, again, I'm happy is not the uh, trainer kit card with a new hollow effect or something. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more. Have a great day.